next doubles, we have women's doubles, and it's the birthday girl, Su Ya Ching, 27 women's doubles with Wu Ting Jung, and they're up again. Chinese Taipei. They're actually 26 in the world ranking at the moment. Their opponents, as you saw, 25. So this should be an even match. Yeah, the pair from Chinese Taipei. Su Yaqing, a player with the Calf muscle support. So this is the second meeting between the two pairs. First time they met was won by Huang and Lee in the first round of the Malaysian Open Super 750 event. One in three games. Which side? So Gunas Lasviris from Latvia, Ra Rampa, having completed his first duty. Now the players have made their decisions on who's serving, receiving, on which ends they're starting. And for this lady, Huang Dongping, appearing in her second World Championships, whereas her partner here, Li Huen Mei, is appearing in her first World Senior Championships. It's the first World Championships for Wu Ti Jung as well. But here the youngest player on court, Li Huin Mei, born in Hubei province. And she and her partner down one place in the world ranking this week from their career high, World 24. But it's interesting, her partner may be a few years older, 23 years of age, from Meishan in Nanan City in Fujian province. But they both won two bronze medals at the World Junior Championships in different years, obviously with different partners. So they've now combined and combined very successfully indeed. Reached the final of the China Super 100 event. So to the birthday girl, 27 today, born in Tainan, in the south of the country. It's the oldest city in the country as well. 168, that's five foot six. And her partner, Wu Ti Jung, 25, born in Taipei. Have been as high as 17, just one week as world number 17s. And as I was saying, Su Ya Ching has already played one match today with Li Yang. Mixed to doubles play. beat a pair from Switzerland. So they had great success recently, the pair from Taipei, at the Indonesia Super 1000 event, reached the quarterfinal stage. First round beat Yule and Pedersen, the Olympic silver medalist. But what we didn't know at the time was Yule was pregnant. And perhaps that may have, in fact, I'm pretty certain it contributed to their loss, but that's to take nothing away from Su Ya Ching and Wu Ti Jung, who played extremely well in Jakarta.
so with rankings and at 26 and right, 25, this should Huang be close. Dongxin, Li Wenmei, China. And on my left, Wu Tiyong, Xu Yaqing, Chinese Taipei. Huang Dongping serves to Xu Yaqing. Level, play. Good work from me when May. One love. their partnership at the China Super Series last year. Wang oh! Dongping and Li Wenmei, and that was in November. So for them to be up to as high as 24 in the world after less than a year is very, very impressive. Oh, look at that defensive shot. Goodness me. Oh! Oh! Four luck. Already had wins over a couple of the top ranked Japanese pairs. Fukushima and Hirota. They beat them in the second round of the Malaysian Open recently. And then in the second round of a week later in Indonesia, they beat Tanaka and Yonimoto. Look at that defense. Brilliant. My goodness me, well, it's twice already at least that Lee Quinn May has played a drive defensive shot that has completely turned the momentum of the rally. Five love. Five love. Hope. Serves over. One, five. from Chinese Taipei, who's won a medal in the women's doubles at the World Championships. That was in Paris in 2010. Chen Wenxing and Chen Yu Chen. Bronze medal it was. Four, five. Extraordinary. Five straight points five for all. Wang Dongping and Li Wenmei. And now five straight points to Xu Yaqing and Wu Ti Jung.
replacement. Six all. Hang Dong Ping guilty of committed to the forehand defence. Well, that was much earlier in the game. That defensive shot. Interesting defence as well from the win May. Good rally. Oh, just wide. Over seven eight. Hugely talented with her racket skills, the eighteen year old. Return of serve. Serves over. Eight, nine. Get arm outstretched. Took it very early. Play. Was landed in. There was a call from Wang Dongping to her partner to leave it. Wrong decision. the first five points I wondered if it was going to be close but it has turned out to be a close opening game so far ah. oh that's a nice ah. angle so over for Lee and May and it is the Chinese combination who have the advantage at the mid-game interval it's a good angle across court Pan Lee, former coach. 
Charming, the other coach, along with Pan Lee. the number two seed in the mixed doubles discipline with Huang Ilu. They've actually been number one in the world as well. But the number two seeds here. Serves over 11, 12. Such a good mix doubles player. Look at that. Shuttle had gone past her when she made that backhand smash. as it went through to her partner. And this is a nice little cushion now for the Chinese pair. Costly. Yeah, from Chinese Taipei, don't seem to be playing at the moment with enough sense of ur urgency. Well, that's a gift for them.
longest rally of the match so far, I suspect. 18, combination steadily 13. but surely creeping towards the opening game. Oh, that's a, another costly error. 19, from the point pair from Taipei. Two points from the opening game for Wang and Lee. Yeah, that's what they've got to do more of. Pair from Taipei, they've got to take their chances 14, at the front of the court. 19. In my opinion, they've been a little too passive up till now. I said earlier, I didn't think they were playing with the urgency. These sort of shots, that shows the urgency of, I really want to win this rally, I really want to win this match. Gives your opponent something to think about. Just long. Game. Opening game to First Guangdong game Ping five. and Lee Wenmei. Lee Wenmei, 21-14. 21 14 confirms the umpire. Fraction over 18 minutes for that opening game. Chinese Taipei using all of his allotted time to his players. Because if Xu Yaqing wants to have double delight on her birthday, she's going to have to come behind in this women's double. She's already won her mixed doubles. And she's going to have to fight back from a game deficit if she wants two wins out of two on her birthday. 
second game, Love All, play. Precisely why she's such a good mixed doubles player. We're actually looking at her partner, but Wang Dongping, there she is. Former world number one mixed doubles player. Number two seed here. pushes and then the delicate little block Oh, my goodness me. Oh, yes, challenge that. Uh, Wu Ti Young challenges called in. Technique on the backhand, though, from Wang Dong Ping. That was just incredible. First challenge of this women's doubles. So what does Hawkeye say? Was an adventurous four. shot to try, but then she is an adventurous player. Interesting, though, that they have really been targeting Li Wenmei. from that far Six, side of the court. Four. Shuffle fine. A little quicker coming towards us. And just to reiterate that, coming towards us as we're looking down on the court right now. Run of 
four straight points. Five, six. From Shu Seven, five. Seven, five. Actually won a singles title as well, Shu Yaqing. Having been in three women's singles tournament finals, but her one title was Seven, the 2013 five. Malaysian International Challenger event, beat Pai Yu Po in the final. And one of the rare players who's won titles in all three disciplines. Shu Yaqing. variation on the serve. Oh, that's superb. Nine, I really seem to have five. turned this second game around. Shu Yaqing and Wu Ti Jung. Considering they were love three down. Lovely backhand again from Dong Ping. Sun's over. Ten, seven. So to the mid-game interval, interval with a four-point advantage. Shu Yaqing and Wu Ti Jung. Thirty minutes into the match. 
got the consistency yet Lee Wen May that's not surprising at just 18 years of age Complete miss hit. Complete miss hit from Stephen May. comfortable in their chairs now aren't they the Chinese coaches what on earth has gone wrong they probably wandering to themselves the pace a bit more and varies the angle Lee Wen May that's when she has a more success I think she's perhaps because she's still very young perhaps felt that the occasion and she's excited to be playing in her first world championship she's been hitting too many shots at the same sort of pace but when she varies it it's very nice indeed Yeah, over. Fifteen, ten. Yeah. Oh, crikey, it was closer than I thought. It's pushed long. Well, it looks 16, as if we might be treated 10. to a third and deciding game. And I said that the birthday girls, Chu Yaqing, would need to come from behind. If she wanted to win this, they have up their game, there's no doubt about it. Rally. It's gone long. Seven, 
I'm pretty certain, if I remember correctly, it was the pair from Chinese Taipei, this pair, that chose ends at the start of the match. And that might prove very important indeed. Service over. 11, 17. Oh, yes, double head. Good spot by the umpire. 12, 17. Rally, good intensity. Serves over. Three points Eight, away eight, from forcing twelve. a third and deciding game. Goodness, uh, no lack of effort. Uh, cross court did the damage, forced Xu Yaqing to dive. That one there, oh, that was the one that set up the whole rally. Look at that effort from Xu Yaqing. Did well to get that back. Oh, she's got a smile on her face. 13, 18. <laughs> yeah, there's the little hand signal letting her partner know where she's going to serve to. Too big a swing of the racket from Lee Wen Mei. So difficult to get the timing right. Bigger the swing. The timing was all wrong. from over yet, you know. 14, Oh, my goodness, that's poor judgment. That's way in Babington terms. Yeah, a right smile from Ewan May. Because that error of judgment means that there are six game point opportunities. Game. One game all. Second game won by Symmetry in the scoreline. Both games won and lost 21-14. Well, we will be treated to a third and deciding game. Definitely wide. 
40 minutes into the match, and it's one game all. Well, they started the match in spectacular fashion. Race to a five love lead in the opening game. And it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And here we are in a third and deciding game. Final game. And without question, the momentum is with Xu Ya Ching and Wu Ti Jung. to this decider. Oh! Oh, it's a fabulous open so rally. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the longest of the match so far. Just emphasizes, oh, she's run off to change her racket. Gone off to change her racket, she's back. Emphasizes what I was saying in the open game, all her attack at one pace. My goodness, this is brilliant. What a rally! Well, that was extraordinary at the start of the rally. Lee Wen May was smashing and smashing. She knew she'd broken the strings. There she was. She Dashed off court, got another racket. Play it on. What a super rally. is required. A 
Rangers. No, they can't quite. Been four love lead. Now four one. It's a pretty good start by the Chinese pair, anyway. to try. Look how deep the defensive stance was of Lee Wen May. Just long challenge, I think. Challenge here from Taipei. From they challenged in the second game and they were proved unsuccessful. Here we go. Oh, couldn't tell from that. That's why we need Hawkeye. Certainly very close. Here we go. Out, brilliant. Correction. Good challenge. one point the deficit now she's definitely the weaker link i think this lady the youngster the teenager lee win may i think she has the potential to be an outstanding player but at the moment she's just a little too inconsistent Forcing herself into the rally there with that interception. Yeah, that's well taken. Yeah, I couldn't hear what our umpire said there. Seven, five. Serves 
opportunity. Obvious disappointment from Xu Ya Ching. I was going to say that's a super return of serve, but it was just long. Nine, six. Wang Ping was sent in the wrong direction. Watch this. Oh, she was nowhere near that. Had to leave it. shot or did she change her mind? important that Xu Ching and Wu Tijung close the gap a bit before the change of ends. Obviously both players have enjoyed playing from that far side of the court as we look down. That's gone wide. So now the player from Taipei will have their favoured end. advantage from the Chinese pair could prove decisive. Oh. Yeah, there's something else apparently meant to say to them after her coaching chair and then came back and remembered what she had meant to say. 11-7. So now it is Xu Ya Ching and Wu Ti Zheng who have the favourable end from which to play. Brilliant. Extraordinary rally. Eight, and they'll be demoralizing as far as the Chinese pair is concerned because they look to be on the ascendancy in that rally.
Time's over. Mm, dear, dear me. Nine, 12. That's at least a second service error. Good return of serve. And look at the way that's put away from Wang Tong Ping. Great awareness of where the gap was. Managed to keep the momentum going. Wang Dongping and Li Wenmei. Opportunity at the front of the court from Wu Ti Jung. Thirty-nine shots. On court, please. Don't think that's the longest so far. to see from Fang Dong Ping. I didn't really sort of notice her in the second game. She went off the boil and she makes such a difference within the rally. Her commitment at the front of the court really is decisive. There it is again and again. Yeah. Two points away from a place in the second round. Seven straight points. Eight straight points. 20 match points. A whole host of match point opportunities. Exactly one hour this match has been in progress. Serves over. And it can't convert on her 10, first opportunity. 20. I think I challenged that. 20. Well, obviously the players are in a much better position than me to see. Well, how on earth did she miss that?
still they can't convert. Well, three match points have come and gone. 12, 20. they should have challenged on that first match point opportunity. Oh. Well, that one drops long. Oh, there's challenge. They can't celebrate yet. Well, Chinese pair seem pretty confident they've won the match. Pair from Taipei, big smiles. I think they know that it probably was long. Oh, oh maybe not. Well, well, well. What does Hawkeye say? It was in. Good challenge. Would you believe it? 14, 20. Five match points have come and gone. Play. That's going wide. Yeah, this time they know the run is over. Uh, but they made their opponents work very hard for that deciding game. So extraordinarily, all, all three games won and lost to, to the score of 14. An hour and four minutes in total. But it is Huang Dongping and Li Mei who progressed through to the second round. That was the backhand, I think, that did the damage. Push there, watch it, watch it, watch it. Yes, it was wide. Good call, line judge. Yes, they know it too. <laughs> well, not double delight for the birthday girl, but it's been a pretty good birthday, hasn't it, for Xu Yaqing. And she goes out of the women's doubles. Their confirmation, Wang Dongping and Li Huen Mei threw in three games, 21-14 in the deciding game. <laughs>